my stampers. It's Lisa Marie with Stamp with Lisa Marie. And I have two Christmas cards that we did this month in our regular card class that I want to share with you. Let me see. And I don't know. I guess I forgot to bring my sample in here. So we're just going to do this together and you'll see at the end. Okay. Just trust me. Hashtag trust Lisa Marie, right? So we're going to use some evening evergreen. And what we're going to do with that is we've grabbed, I cut up the, um, what was it tidings of Christmas designer series paper and um, I cut it into what is it five and a quarter by two inches so you can get three strips out of those six by six and you can match this up however you want to even oh that's cute too but I think we're gonna go this way maybe we'll do it this way all right so I'm going to attach this to my evening evergreen which is five and a half by eight and a half and if you took this class, you'll know how quick and easy but beautiful these cards are. These are great when you have to make a whole bunch of them. You can do a nice little assembly line and get them knocked out. If we don't get busy on those Christmas cards soon, then we're going to be like rushing around at the last minute. And then you'll be forced to buy store-bought and then you'll be sad and we don't want any of that. So there we go. We got that guy. Let's go ahead and stamp this one or stamp it. Glue this guy too. This is my inside piece. I believe oh this one's three and three quarters by five just because that's what I had laying on my desk there we go then we have these guys so this one's gonna go like this I like using the um, multi-purpose liquid glue because then I have a little wiggle room for getting it lined up and then I have my white piece and I have a scrap piece oh goodness let's see I need I need my trees I'm grabbing a block and this is peaceful cabin I'm pulling the trees out of here if you don't have this set you could totally make this work with other things so don't panic the best way to do this I think is there's already a nice divide between these trees and I want to get two shades so I want this guy to be a light which is soft succulent and I want the other two to be evening evergreen and it works out perfect if you do it this way you can ink them up really nice and you don't get anybody on top of anybody. It goes just the way you want it. So let's get this one. Oh, look, I got ink on my finger. Let me grab it. I'm going to clean that off. And I'm going to grab my blender pen and do my light tree first. And I'm just scribbling, really, because it's pulling that color and just darkening it a little bit. I'm going to clean it off. I start with the light one first because I didn't want to transfer this dark. See how much brighter that is? The darker color is just making it go pop. I love it. So you're just dragging it through there, scribbling. <laughs> I don't know how else to, I mean, coloring, but it's, I mean, I'm really, there's no exactness to it, you know? But how cute is that? <laughs> All right. I'm going to clean off my stamp real quick so that. I don't lay my arm in it because those are the things I do laying my arm and stuff all right so now we're gonna flip this guy over and go like this and then I tied a piece of our glitter organdy ribbon look at it that's like the magic of TV right I just Shazam and it was done and I'm gonna do dimensionals on the back of this and if you watched me at all you know I like dimensionals so I don't want any saggy middle in my card they're only four dollars for 300 I can spare a few to make sure that my card is nice so we're gonna go like this maybe like that And then I'm going to stamp. I have this really good set. This is Christmas to Remember. And I'm going to use Tis the Season because it's just small enough to fit up here. And then I'll stamp something else pretty inside too. Let me grab a block. I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler. That is one of the colors that's in this paper. And I'm just doing this on scrap paper because I'm just going to fussy cut it. Not really good. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. All right. I'm also going to go ahead while I'm here and let's put something on the inside. 
That way I make it a little bit pretty in there. It's less I have to stress about writing. It says, love and joy come to you in May. It lasts the whole year through. Very nice. I love this set. I love the font on this set. These Christmas to remember words are really good. All right, let's stick these guys back. And grab my scissors. I got a piece of plastic stuck on me. And I'm just gonna cut this off. This is so simple because they're just straight lines. I didn't even look to see if there was a die for this one. I just went with it. It's super easy to cut. And then it's just going to go like that. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to glue it flat. I think I want to trim that guy just a little bit more to make him even with the other sides. There we go. So I'm going to grab my holiday rhinestones, which are my favorite rhinestones ever. They're so, so good. Where is my take a pick tool? Huh? We just used it for spontaneous Sunday. You'd think it'd be sitting right here and it is not. So we're going to use the end of my scissors then. Boop. Let's give him like a little, it's like it's got a star, right? I'll grab a couple of these guys. Just embellish it however you want with as few or as many as you want because it's your card. I'm going to put you over here. Maybe not. I think we're going to stick it in here. And let's give him one on top too. And I think you need one more. And then we'll do one more of these. Isn't that just pretty and so easy? You don't have to use that many rhinestones. I just opened a new pack, so I felt like I just needed to dive in and use them. <laughs> All right, let me get rid of this mess. So there's one card done, Peaceful Cabin and Christmas to Remember. And then the next one is even easier. I love for them to be simple yet beautiful. Easy to reproduce. It just makes it all so nice. We're going to use some black glitter ribbon. So this is the um, book binding fold. So it's folded in half. So you got four and a quarter, four and a quarter by 11. Scored at five and a half and six and three quarters. Because it's going to go, there we go. It's going to get sealed right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tear tape. I like tear tape for this because it holds it nice. It's a mechanical card, something that people open and close. It has movement, so I always like to use my tear tape because I just feel like it gives a better hold. It's okay that it's hanging off. Don't stress about that because I can roll it up when I get ready to seal it. You can use either side. I'm going to stick with the snowflakes, though I really like this plaid. This was from the Peaceful Prince DSP that was free during celebration, and I know you guys have got to have a little stash of it. So this is great because the black is 4x4, four the DSP is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So you can get quite a few out of a sheet. Oops. Now we're gonna glue, I think you want them to go this way. I'm gonna glue this on here. I'm gonna grab my ribbon. I didn't have one of these ready. You can make a bow or a knot, whichever you want. A knot will be less bulky for mailing, but a bow is pretty, so you choose. Unless, of course, you've got a card kit in the mail, then you probably, I probably cut it to, um, to be a knot, more than likely. All right, then we're going to open this guy up. We're going to take these off. If you just use something sharp like your scissors or your take-a-pick tool to grab that underneath, it makes it easier than trying to stick your fingernail under there. Just don't cut yourself. And then I'm just taking those little pieces that were hanging over and tucking them in, getting my ribbon straight. 
then we're gonna go like that close the door and now Shazam done and then we're gonna grab a dimensional and these snowflakes they come in 24 in a pack they're only six bucks great deal no die cutting necessary I love them and look at that they made it so the dimensional is perfectly designed exact size for the snowflake I love that all right so then we're gonna take this strip and we're gonna do from happy holidays I love this one Christmas blessings to you and yours it's like my favorite let's grab a block we're gonna do that one in real red I can find it I just had it I made sure I had all of them here before I start there, there it is we're gonna ink that one up so if you guys don't have it oh this is a really wonky piece of paper hang on let me grab another one that's really wonky more because they're like about three three quarters inch three quarters um three quarters of an inch wide because then I can snip the ends however I want them straight on an angle look at that boop so we're gonna go like that we're gonna grab some regular rhinestones do I think I did a little one right there then you can do some bigger ones all over here <laughs> how pretty is that and so simple the last thing I did is I grabbed from snowflake wishes this snowflake, look at how it matches that paper. It's like perfect, like it was just designed intentionally that way, right? I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna have some snowflakes inside. I would also do my envelope to coordinate with it because I love when the, I love when the envelope coordinates. It makes me happy. So I would take my snowflakes I'd probably do a few across, quite possibly even one right there. So now you have this adorable card with a coordinating envelope, cute little bling, love, 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 super easy, quick to make. I think we did that in like less than 15 minutes. Now I did have my paper cut, but other, I mean, it really doesn't take that long. If you'd like to make these cards, I have a few card kits left um, you just need to place an order of $25 or more and I'll send you these two cards, the kits to make them. And they're super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to help you out. I'd love to help you shop. Um, I'm at stampwithlisamarie.com is my blog and you can just click on shop and it'll take you right to my store. If you have any questions, you can shoot me a message. You can find me on Facebook with Stamp with Lisa Marie also. And I do a show every Sunday night called Spontaneous Sunday Stamping with my daughter. She's also a demonstrator on my team. So you can pop over and watch us there on Facebook. Um, be sure to like it and be sure to hop over and subscribe on YouTube too so that you don't miss out on anything. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.